Hey guys, I kind of just here doing another uh, retro toy review. Now this is for a vintage Star Wars 12 inch figure by Hasbro and this is actually one of the best figures they actually ever did. And he's pretty much just a generic um, trooper. He's more, he's at the ATST driver. But the reason why I say he's one of the best ones they ever did is because Previously, up to the point before this guy was being made, all their figures, all the previous ones, had big, fairly big, clumpy sized hands. And their proportions were pretty much all over the place, and they didn't look too movie uh, accurate. Whereas this guy, um, as far as I know, he was released part of the Saga line, which was just around the time of when Attack of the Clones was released, as part of their 12 inch line. He was actually released alongside some of the 12 inch uh, Clone Wars or er, Attack of the Clone stuff, and he's basically an ATST driver. Now, it would be awesome to get a in scale ATST, but sadly, that will probably never happen um, unless Hot Toys make one, which would be pretty impressive, like they did with their in scale uh, Falcon they did for their display. Uh, he's a bit dusty, but he sports. Removable goggles, which um, the elastic is fairly worn on, so I won't remove them. And he does have a removable helmet. And one thing I will say about the head sculpt, um, I'm not sure if it's based on one of the actors that portrayed the ATST drivers, um, but he actually reminds me a lot of the guy who the animation for um, Figus from Archer. For some reason, I think it's because of the grey streaks in the hair. It kind of looks like him. If he had glasses, he probably would be a dead ringer from articulation wise. His head is on a ball joint so he can move around. Arms are on kind of standard hinges. He has a single hinge elbow. Um, the gloves are part of the connected to the forearm, so they're non removable, but they're quite nice. They're quite small scale, they're not as big and clumpy as the previous ones, previous kind of Imperial commanders and Imperial officer figures were. And he's just kind of standard forward and back for the legs, single knee, and he has a hinge in the foot, but it's somewhat prevented, sorry, I'm bringing him into view, he's somewhat prevented from the, um, the, the boots, because they're quite a solid rubber plastic. He does come with an Imperial Blaster. Now, I'm not sure if this is the one that exactly came with him, because it came with a several of the Imperial figures. But this is the one that I have standing with him. Um, he does have pouches that can open. He's fairly plain f as far as uniform goes. It's all a one-piece jumpsuit with a solid plastic belt piece, and then he has a helmet. But, um... As that he's quite a good sculpting. The only thing I find kind of downside about him is the skin. The fact that they chose to actually paint the skin tone on the head as opposed to mold it in a kind of a flesh tone color, so it'll give it more a natural look. The skin tone is painted, so it gives it, it has a kind of very glossy look to it. Um, mine has a few paint scuffs as well from where the hamlet has been ah, scraping off his head, which is, again is another downside of the um, of painting on the on the figure. But overall, he's pretty good. Uh, let me just see if I can get him to stand up, and I'll see if I can dig out one of the other imperial figures so you can see what I mean about the clumpy hands. Let's see, move his head up a bit. Stand up. He does look pretty nice. Um, I have a hand one of the sandtroopers, and as you can see, the hands are fairly big and clunky on the sandtrooper. Oh, the armor is also big and clunky on the sandtrooper as well. They do have a bit of a hard time standing because of the way the feet are designed. But height wise, they're pretty much on scale with each other. We can get them to stand. Unfortunately he's not in the mood for standing at the moment but uh, there you go just to show what the old, this is one of the old vintage Hasbro um, 
stormtroopers, well, sand troopers. So they used to have um, fairly big bulky armor. The, as I said, the proportions were all over the place, so they weren't exactly film accurate. They look good, I mean, but compared to stuff that have been made more recently, like the Hot Toys um, figures, they just pale in comparison to them. There you go. You understand briefly, you'll probably fall over in a minute. But there you go, guys. Just a quick review for this vintage figure. I, I, unfortunately, I don't have any of the Hot Toys uh, Star Wars stuff. Bar, well, I do have a sideshow um, collectibles uh, Bosch, but I don't have any of the Imperials, so I can't really do a comparison with him. But overall, he is a pretty cool figure. The ATST driver. He is fairly hard to come by, so I, if you are looking for one, eBay is probably your best bet, but be prepared to pay fairly high prices for him, because he was, as far as I know, he did have a limited run. He wasn't as as easily available as some of the other figures. Um, just for another quick comparison before I wrap up the video, I'll just show him in scale to one of the more modern. Uh, if I just rotate the camera a bit. Uh, one of the more modern um, Force Awakens figures. Uh, camera a bit. So you can just see the scale size. They do kind of scale up fairly well. This is these are this is another one of the Hasbro ones. So they're what's called a shampoo bottle um, solid, just well, well, it's not solid, but hollow plastic um, flame trooper from Force Awakens. I know in my original video I said I was going to customize them, but I still haven't gotten around to doing it. So there you go, guys. That's a quick video review of the ATSC 12 inch figure from Hasbro. Um, it's a vintage figure, so as I said, if you want to go out and find one, eBay is your best bet. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. As always, if you liked it, press like. If you want to comment, feel free to comment. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Cheers.